Welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Today we're taking a look at these things. I picked these up from Axeman Surplus and these are beacon blinky lights that go on top of a tower or a tall building. Basically anything near an airport that you don't want planes to crash into. Now these appear to be LED arrays. I don't know if they're actually red LEDs or if they're white strobe flashers. Supposedly neither one of them works. So. I'm going to see if I can open these up, see what's in there. Maybe we can make at least one of them work, and then potentially we got to find a use for it. All right, now, these are not lightweight, and I was talking about trying to do a blinky light on top of my radar dome, just as a joke. It's not really high enough to be an aircraft hazard, but I don't think I even want to put this on the radar dome. This is... This thing weighs like at least 60 pounds. Now this enclosure is kind of cool. I was hoping it was glass like the bell jar dome that we have in the fish pond, but I think it's some kind of acrylic or heavy plastic. So I'm gonna see if we can get that off of here. All right, yeah, that is definitely plastic and it does have a little retainer clip on it here so we don't drop it off the tower if we're working on this. So yeah, we've got this lovely array of LEDs and then little diffuser modules on the outside. On the inside of the thing, we have all these heat sinks. So it definitely generates some heat in there. Um, we've got an info tag here. So it's a flashing beacon, 120 or 240 AC, FAA type, customer part number, et cetera, et cetera. Looks like it was manufactured in 2005. We have another tag or a couple tags down here. So. It says it's uh, airport equipment for FAA specifications, and this is a Dialite uh, L864 flashing beacon. I think these little deals here would let me unscrew the top and take the top off, um, but there's not really much else in here. There's just this like hole in the center. You could stick it on a pole, or you could mount it with these uh, holes around the edges. Well, heck, we've got three wires here. I think this is our standard... AC power, so let's plug this thing in and see if it does anything at all. And yes, I always have this on standby, even though I've been lucky enough not to have to use it yet. Well, here goes nothing. All right, and nothing is the operative word because it is not flashing, it is not making any noises. Uh, on the plus side, there's no magic smoke coming out, but I'm definitely not hearing uh, any kind of transformer hum or capacitor whine or anything that indicates to me that the electronics are working on this. All right, let's try taking off these little spinny clips at the bottom. Oop. All right, so there is our flashy lighthouse module. This would actually be pretty cool. If anybody out there has a lighthouse, um, I know there are a couple YouTubers that have bought lighthouses lately. Uh, if I can get this to work, maybe I can uh, make a deal or something. And this thing was screwed in place, but it's also kind of glued in there, so. I'm gonna do some prying and then, uh... Okay, we've removed the magic black box. Um, it's really pretty simple here. It's basically just the input wires, the AC in, uh, then that goes into one end of the black box, and then this surprisingly small wire comes out the other side. I assume this is some kind of high voltage DC maybe for the uh, flashy lights, but yeah, I would have expected bigger wires, but that's what we got here. So um, let's pop this open and see what's happening. Looks like somebody already has popped this open. The screw is all stripped out. I don't know why it was glued back in place if it's been uh, messed with already, but who knows? All right, so there's what's inside our magic black box. It is fully potted. It is just filled with this goo. So there are absolutely no user serviceable parts in here, and they want to make sure that there are no user serviceable parts. Um, I'm not sure if this bubbling is good or bad, or there's some capacitors under here. It's possible, like that capacitor looks like maybe it popped. Um, this, I'm not sure. <laughs> Not sure what was in there, if that was something that blew up. All right, we've opened up our second beacon module and somebody has already started messing with this one. The wires are all unhooked. The little uh, EMI filter is just loose in here. A little bit different than the other one. The flashy module, the electronics module is directly wired into the LED array. So there's not a removable clip, at least not one that I can see here. And it's a slightly different uh, beacon module or electronics box. It still looks like it's potted. It's got that nasty brown stuff everywhere. So 
There's really no point in opening it up. It's probably gonna look the same as the other one. Let's just give it a shot here. I'm going to plug it back in and see if anything happens. And again, absolutely nothing. No noises, no lights, it's dead. Now I certainly can't be disappointed because that's exactly what was advertised. Axeman said these don't work. So uh, I didn't really expect them to work. I was kind of hoping they would, but yeah, you never know with stuff like this. Now there definitely are some cool parts in here. There are all of these LEDs, which I assume still work and could probably be fired off with a different power supply or different adapter. There's this cool enclosure, which is like, I don't know, kind of a 1950s space helmet or robot head. Just this entire thing has some interesting mounting hardware. And yeah, there's definitely some useful parts in here, but I would also like to get it working as a flashy flasher beacon thing. I think that would be pretty cool. So um, I'm going to see if I can find just that electronics module online. I may or may not, I don't know how obscure that is. And if not, then maybe I can find some specifications on it and figure out what do the actual LEDs want for power, and maybe we can supply that some other way. This actually does make a fun space helmet. We might have to do that in a future video. I did some research on these, and I found almost nothing. Like, you can find a data sheet for the entire unit, but you can't find any information on the internal components. So, the whole thing is a pretty standard device. The FAA has requirements for tower top lights, and this is some company that just followed those requirements, made their own device, and put some kind of secret sauce in there as far as that potted black box. I have not been able to find anything about the power unit or electronics unit in here. It claims it's putting out 480 volts DC, um, but if I go over to AC, it says it's putting out 1000 volts AC. So I have no idea what kind of electricity is coming out of that, but it is scary. Now I did notice there is a scorch mark inside this one. so. It seems like maybe one of the LEDs burned out or something happened in there. It's possible this was hit by lightning or just had some other issue. So um, these LEDs may or may not work. We might have to actually take it apart more and cut out this module if there's something seriously wrong with it. I'm not sure. I took this apart a little more and there's definitely been a catastrophic failure of one of the LEDs in here. I don't know if that would affect the entire unit. You would think these would be wired in such a way that it would be fault tolerant and one blowing out wouldn't kill everything, but who knows how they did this. This thing actually failed so hard that it, it melted one of the little plastic retainers and it looks like it almost started a fire in here. If they had it started farther down, it could have been actually on fire. So this thing was made out of plastic. That'd be exciting to have that at the top of your radio tower. Um, yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not seeing good things about this company. So, uh, so far their quality control seems to be pretty sketchy. So looking closely at this again, it looks like maybe they are wired in series. So we've got red going to this little post, black going over here. And then I think we've got a jumper at the bottom, a jumper at the top, jumper at the bottom. So I think all of these LEDs are just one giant electrical series circuit, so having one LED burn out kills the whole thing. That seems like a really poor design. I, I would be surprised if that's true, but that's sure what it looks like just from my casual observation here. So that means if we jumper past the blown out one, it works! Um, we are getting some sus noises and smoke. We have the smoke. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's all right, well we got it to light up for a minute, but we got another LED starting to burn out here. So yeah, it seems like there is something sketchy about either the LEDs or the power supply. Um, something's putting too much power somewhere and it's coming out in uh, magic smoke. So we got it to work briefly by just jumpering past this smoked module, but then this other one over here started to burn out. So. I could jump her past that, but if there's this much issue with the LEDs, I'm thinking there's some kind of quality control going on here that the LEDs are maybe a little old, they're getting to the end of their life, and there's just going to be one after another after another. Whichever is the weakest one, whichever is the oldest one is going to short out like that. And the amount of energy going through here is a little scary, and I think this could actually start a fire. So. I don't really want to mess with it that much, at least on my bench top here, and 
I don't know if any of this is salvageable. These LEDs seem to have uh, a fire issue. They seem to be prone to popping. The power supply maybe had an issue. It looked like some of the capacitors had popped in there. So I don't know if those are related. I don't know which problem came first. If it shorted out first and that blew the capacitors or if the capacitors blew and then that is putting too much voltage into the lights here. I'm not enough of an electronics expert to know where the root problem is. If you're an electronics expert and you'd like to give me some advice on this, I am all ears. I would love to know if I can salvage this, if I can use it as is or use any of the parts for anything, but as of now I'm a little scared to try it again because I don't want to burn out anything else, I don't want to start a fire, I don't want to short things out, and um, I don't really know where to go next with this. I'm definitely going to keep it around. We might be able to reuse the uh, space helmet component here, even if the rest of it is garbage. And yeah, maybe there's some other purpose we can find for this thing. So if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments down below and maybe we'll do a follow up. Otherwise, maybe we'll see this in a future build of something completely unrelated. Anyway, that's all we've got for this one. Thanks to everyone for watching and we'll see you next time.